What's good, everybody? All right, so I'm going to quickly show you how to customize your drum kits inside of Native Instruments machine uh, software. It works in any DAW, so it's not DAW specific, uh, but I'll show you how I do it, and I'm going to try to make this as quick as possible. If you don't understand something, shoot me a message, leave a comment, something underneath, and uh, I'll try to address it for you uh, as simple as possible. All right, let's go. All right, so first things first, navigate to your folder where it says workspace. You, I'm going to point to my hard drive, which is this one right here. Double click, I find my drum folder that I'm going to work with, find the particular kit. Uh, all right, so let's just go with this one. So say I wanted to start with kicks. Go into my kick library, and then I'll just sample each one. by going through them. All right, so this icon right here, if you have this turned on, I'm gonna turn it off. If I turn it back on, any kick I choose automatically gets assigned to the pad right here. So if I go to kick number two, it's gonna put that kick right there. If I go to three, it's gonna put three right there. If I don't have that on, I'll just be able to cycle through my sounds without it loading onto the pad itself all right so at any rate i go through my kicks say i like the the bottom end of that kick but i want to put something or layer it with another type of kick if you click the little wave icon right here and then go to where it says zone click on zone highlight zone and you'll see this additional wave icon pop up here click on that you'll notice right under the name of the kick you'll see a plus sign where you can add additional sounds uh, to this kick while i'm in here this particular kick itself notice the action items at the bottom you can tune it click and hold All right. You can add gain on it if it was a low sample. You can pan the sound if you wanted to from the center, et cetera, et cetera. Let me see if I scroll to the left, you have all these other options. Change the root key note. You can change the attack to the key. Um, the mapping of the keys, velocity of that particular instrument. instrument You can have it touch sensitive. So if I hit it like that real soft, because I have the velocity for the low side at zero, so the lowest touch is softer. But if I hit it hard, it's gonna go all the way to 127. If I wanted it just a constant velocity, I just put both of them at 127. And no matter how hard I touch it, it's gonna or how soft I touch it, rather, it would uh, be at a maximum velocity. All right, anyway, hit the plus sign here, or what I like to do is I'll just cycle through different samples. So that's my kick. I like the low end of it. Say I wanted that top end from that kick. Click and hold with my mouse, drag it over here, let it go. It combines both of them. Now that I have that kick highlighted, I'm in control of the one I just added with all the functions down here. So if I want to go up on the tuning of that top end, I can do that. If I want to turn the gain all the way down, that's just the original kick by itself. If I turn this top end and kick all the way up, Oh, I'm tripping. Y'all see what I did? I added the same kick. All right, let's do this again. Now, it changed the kick because I had this on right here. So, I'm going to take this off. Now, drag it over. 
let it go. It combines both sound. If I want to get more of that top end kick, I just turn it up. If I wanted to turn down the first kick I added, just click on that, highlight it, come down in the game all the way. That's the first one. That's the, sorry, that's the second one by itself. As I go back up in volume, it'll blend the deeper kick in. If I wanted to tune the top kick, I could do that so the top really sticks out. All right, so also, if I want to add a little compression to that, right here is where, think of this like your instrument uh, channel strip, like in Logic, over here. If I wanted to add an effect in Logic, I click right here, I go down to whatever effect I want, and I add it in. Inside of Native Instruments Machine, if I click here, it gives me my list of effects just the same. And say I wanted to add a compressor to these two kicks that I have assigned to that pad. All I would have to do is find my compressor. Where's my CLA? Let's say this guy right here. It loads it in. If I double click it, it opens up the plugin. Now I look at my compressor and I can adjust settings from there. I wanted to turn the compressor off to hear the difference click on where it says effects compressor off turn it back on all right if I say you know what I want to add let's say some saturation I can go up to native instruments or any saturation plugin you decide on go down to or just go internal go down to saturator and just start playing with the different settings. I want to turn it off to see what it's doing. Turn it off. That's my kick. You can adjust your input setting all the way off. You hear it distorting, right? But you might want that, so it just depends on you. All right, so let's do a snare drum real quick. If I go to where my snare is at, so click on pair two, go down to snares, and start sampling snares. So say I like the, the lower end or the mid-range of that snare. If I double click, it would load it to pad two. Remember, if I had this on, it would have just loaded it once I clicked on it one time. That's my snare on pad two. Now, if I want to stack another snare, since I'm still in this view, either hit the plus or I just cycle through up some additional sounds and then just drag it over. So let's say I wanted to add that one on top of it and turn it up so the top end of that sticks out. Notice when I hit my kick pad, my compressor came back up because I didn't close it. All right, so let's say we want to stack another one just for fun. Let's stack that reverb clap.
let's add a compressor to it just because, just for the tutorial. That clap was stereo, so I'm going to choose a stereo one instead of a mono one. Double click to open it, see what it's doing. If I wanted to turn down that reverb clap, remember we just go over here to where it says gain. And bring them down. So that's pretty much the gist of it, guys. Um, and then you just continue on to your next sound. You can add as many stacks as you want. Sometimes I have five kicks um loaded up doing different things you know it just depends on you so i'll do one more just in case um let's do go to a new pad and let's do what could we do Let's do, let's go to claps and put a clap on here. So say I like this clap right here. I just double click on it to load it. Remember I could always tune this if I wanted to. But let's say I wanted that low end side of it. And I wanted to stack it with a higher end clap. Click hold, drag, let go. Remember, if I wanted to turn down the first clap, just click on it right there. Go down to my gain. All the way off. Fade it back in. Let me add something different with that clap just to show you. You can layer all kind of things. So we wanted that under the clap. Just click and drag it over also. Now y'all see I'm just getting out of hand with it, but I think you get the idea. And that's it guys. Remember, any questions or anything that you didn't get, if I went too fast, just shoot me a message. Um, don't forget to subscribe, hit the like button, share. All of that good stuff. All right. Make music. Make hits. Till next time.